Affinity Photo offers a set of live masks that allow you to mask layer content based on luminosity, hue, and frequency. In this video, I'll show you how to use luminosity range masks. With this image, I'll begin by adding a curves adjustment using Command M on Mac, Control M on Windows. On the spline graph here, I'll click drag to add a node and push most of the image tones up in a nonlinear fashion. This brightens up the darker areas, but also unfortunately overexposes the long exposure trails in the foreground. This is where a luminosity range mask can prove useful. I can go to Layer, New Live Mask Layer, Luminosity Range to add one to the curves adjustment. On the dialog, we have the luminosity map graph here. Now this graph usually represents the intensity or luminosity range of the current layer. Because this is masked to an adjustment layer, however, it is instead masking based on the layer composition underneath. If I drag the right hand node down, the brighter tones gradually become erased from the mask. On the image, we'll see that the curves adjustment is no longer overexposing the intense detail here because it is being blended away from the brighter tones. I can click drag to create additional nodes on the graph line. The additional options on the dialog help to fine tune the effect of the mask. Invert output when checked will simply invert the current graph. So now the darker areas are being erased from the mask rather than the brighter areas. Linear will convert the node handles to a linear interpolation rather than a nonlinear interpolation. This will reduce the smoothness of the luminosity mapping. It also alters the graduation of the mapping between node points. Notice here that the graph line area representing the darker tones becomes flattened, and the graph line area representing the brighter tones becomes lifted slightly. Checking preview will isolate and display a grayscale preview of the mask. This is useful as a diagnostic view to better understand what the mask is doing. Bright areas are opaque, and dark areas are transparent. So in this workflow context, the curves adjustment will affect the brighter areas, but not the darker areas. Increasing blur radius will add a Gaussian blur effect to the mask. This is useful for smoothing out the transition between opaque and transparent alpha areas, which creates a nice contrast enhancement effect, especially between the light trails and the road. Let me show you another example, this time with a pixel layer. With this landscape image, I might duplicate the background pixel layer, which is the image information, and enter the tone mapping persona, as well as performing tonal compression for high dynamic range imagery, which I will remove. This workspace offers a local contrast slider that can be used to create a dramatic contrast enhancement effect. This result is too strong, but I'm going to leave it like this, as I will use a luminosity range mask to control its blending. I'll click apply, and I'll just double click and rename this layer to local contrast so I can keep track of my layer work. Now I'll add a luminosity range mask, and I can quickly drag the left hand node down to mask away the darker tones of this layer. Using invert output lets me easily preview the inverse blending, where brighter tones are masked away. And I can click drag and create a node in the middle of the graph, then drag it up and down to preview the blending result. You can also alter the overall opacity of the mask down here. I might bring it down to 50%, for example, just to reduce the overall mask strength. Finally, if I expand the local contrast layer, I can hide the luminosity range mask, and the layer will now be completely opaque. This helps me to appreciate just what the mask is doing. When I show it again, only a limited tonal range on this layer is being blended through on top of the original background layer beneath it. And there we go, a couple of examples of how to use the luminosity range masks in Affinity Photo. I hope you found this video useful, and thank you for watching.